Hi everyone, it's Melody Morita. Mina san konnichiwa, Melody Morita desu. The first half of this video will be in English only, and then the Japanese version will begin from around the 4 minute mark. Nihongo version wa 4 fun atari kara hajimarimasu. Today I'll be sharing with you the best affordable items and tips to prevent your body from getting spots and sunburns. I hope you'll learn something new to get bright and clear skin. UV rays are said to be the strongest from 10 a.m. to about 3 or 4 p.m. For my body, I use sunscreens that range from around SPF 30 to SPF 50. I will have my recommendations and everything I share in this video in the info box below, so please refer there if you'd like to see all the details. Sunscreen also has to be reapplied every 2-3 to three hours, but it's difficult to slather it all over your body, especially when you're outside, right? Plus, some areas are hard to reach with gels and creams. So my first sun protection tip is to use this UV spray that has a protection of SPF 50 with PA Quadruple Plus. This is a UV protecting product that can be used on top of your makeup as well. I love that it's alcohol free and gentle enough to use on sensitive skin. It's also the perfect size to bring along with you. This includes hyaluronic acid, vitamin, and collagen so it doesn't dry out your skin at all. But if you have super oily skin, UV powders may be more suitable for you like I shared in my past videos. Sweat tends to take away sunscreen that you applied on your back, neck, and decollete area, so this spray allows you to easily reapply on all of those areas as well. Applying too much at once can make your skin feel slightly sticky though, so I recommend spritzing lightly every few hours. This is one of the best ways to prevent tanning and maintaining bright skin all over, but if you accidentally get burnt and would like to see a video on what I eat and do to heal the skin as soon as possible, please give this video a thumbs up. My next skin protection tip is to use an arm cover that has UV protection. If you think about it, when you're driving or you're in a vehicle by a window, your arms are pretty much in the same position for quite a while. Since UVA rays, which penetrate deeper, can go through glass, we are exposed to damage for many minutes or even hours without noticing. That's why I always apply sunscreen and double up my protection by using these arm covers when necessary. My next tip to protect your face and body is to use a UV cutting umbrella or parasol. As I shared in my What's in My Bag video, I carry an umbrella that works for both rain and sunshine. Areas like behind your neck, shoulders, and back don't get as much attention and burn easily, so using a UV umbrella greatly comes in handy. They're only effective for about 2-3 to three years, so I recommend switching them out to make sure you stay protected. I know it may be a bit embarrassing, but it's much better to use this now than regret in the future. Otherwise, wear a black cardigan and UV protection sunglasses that don't have super dark lenses because your pupils get larger in the dark and you don't want any UV rays to damage your eyes even more. Aside from that, wide brim hats will also help to block out those rays. Just by taking in these simple tips can greatly change your skin and health. Please thumbs up this video if you found it helpful and subscribe to my channel for more lifestyle tips. Feel free to leave me any questions, comments, or video requests down below. Again, all the details will be in the info box. I'm going to continue on with the Japanese version, so please keep watching if you are interested. So, マスクアイテムや肌を焼かないため、そして私は必ず家を出る SPF50の ただ、
オイリー肌の方は UV パウダーの方が合うかもしれません汗で日焼け止めが流れやすい背中、首、デコルデにも簡単に塗り直すことができますでもどうしても焼けてしまった時の日焼け後の食事やなるべく早く元の肌に戻すための方法に興味があるという方はこの動画のグッドボタンを押して教えてください続いてこれからの季節は半袖やノースリーブになることが多いと思うので腕はかなり焼けやすくなりますそこで私がよく使っているのが UV カット効果のあるクールタイプのアームカバーです例えば運転中は腕がある一定の位置で固定されているため窓ガラスも通す紫外線 A 波は私たちが気づかないうちに想像以上の大きなダメージを肌に与えています私は日焼け止めを塗った上からこのクールタイプのアームカバーをつけてダブル日焼け止め対策でしっかりと両腕を守って運転しています続いてのアイテムは日本では使っている方が多いかと思いますが UV カット効果のある日傘です私のカバンの中身を紹介している動画でもシェアしたように常に雨晴れ兼用の傘を持ち歩いていますアメリカで日傘を差すのはかなり抵抗がありますがやっぱり将来後悔したくないのであまり気にしないようにして使っていますそして日傘の寿命は23年らしいので数年ごとに買い替えることが必要だそうです日傘を差すのが難しい時は黒のカーディガンそして目も紫外線から守るために UV カット効果のあるサングラスをつけることが大切ですでも濃いレンズのものだと瞳孔が大きく開きサングラスの横から入ってしまう紫外線が目の奥に入りやすくなってしまうので色があまり濃すぎないサングラスを選ぶことがポイントですあとはちょっと恥ずかしいですがつば広タイプの帽子も日焼け対策としては助かると思います今年の夏もちょっとした心がけでなるべく焼かないようにそしてシミを作らないように全身を紫外線から守りましょうこの動画が参考になりましたらグッドボタンとチャンネル登録をよろしくお願いいたしますまた質問や動画リクエストがありましたらコメントしてください最後までご覧いただきありがとうございました Thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful week you